Hello, hello, welcome back to Whiskey With E, I'm Eric, now today, not a whiskey with or without the E, you know what, we're not even doing craft beer, alright guys, we're doing bottom of the line, mass production style beers, I mean, we're going with something that is normally well known to the world as an Australian beer, Maybe may not be popular to all the Australians, you know, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. If you haven't worked out what I'm about to review, the logo looks like this. Alright guys, let's bring it right here. VB. Alright, so VB obviously stands for Victorian Bitter, coming out of Victoria. Um, company is Carlton and United Brewery. They also do Carlton Giraffe. I mean, what, what can I say about it? This is just... All right, oh, here we go. Established in 1854, dismayed by the quality of beer in the colony in 1854, Thomas Atkin set out to brew a beer made for the Australian conditions best served ice cold. All right, so pretty much this beer was created to withstand the heat. So you're meant to serve it ice cold, you know, normally if you serve other things ice cold, maybe the flavours drop, but it's in the name with this one. It's going to be very bitter. I mean, it is a 4.9%. I, I do believe in a period of time in the past, they dropped it to 46 or something. They brought back the 4.9 in like 2009 or something. Don't quote me on this, but they say that this is the, uh, the old ingredients or... The old recipe. So they brought it back. You know what? Let's get right into it. Glass. The, the, Alright. Here we go, guys. Alright. Look at that, look at that. So, medium, eh, yeah, it's like a medium carbonation. I mean, the, the, the cascading bubbles, obviously you can see it's it's clear that, it, oh, it's almost like a two and a half, thing. You, you can almost say it's almost three fingers, but let's just say for argument's sake, it's two fingers. All right, the head is a little bit off-white, it's like a fluffy white head. We just lost sunlight. So, you know what? Let's get right into it. So, pretty much during the state of origin times, they released limited edition cans. They came like this. For everyone that knows state of origin, NRL, Maroons versus Blues. Pretty cool. Anyways, but, but this is generally the color can that you're going to be looking for. Alright, so, anyway guys. Let's get right into it. So on the nose. I mean, you're not going to say it's hoppy, hoppy, you know. It's like a lager, so pretty much you're getting a, a slight multi note. I mean, I'm not going to say full-blown biscuits like maltiness, you know, like scotches or Irish whiskey. No, nah, none of that. You can almost say it almost has a little bit of a chemical, metallic smell to it. I don't know. Let's just say it's not craft, alright? This will be classed as a lager. I'm sure back in the day they classed this as a pale ale or something like that, but typically it's known as a lager. The head on it is almost gone. I mean, it's still kind of there. Look at the lacing. Alright guys, let's just get right into it. Cheers everyone. Obviously, crisp, crisp, refreshing, you are getting the bitterness, yes, obviously, it's in the name, Victoria Bitter, if it's not bitter, there's going to be a problem with the advertisement, but, I mean, when you're growing up, guys, do you remember trying your father's VB and thinking, like, wow, that tastes like shit, you know, 
No one grows up liking the flavours of VB. You grow into it. Alright, so, especially if you are used to drinking something that's a lot more, less bitter, more like a dry, like a Carlton dry, you know, it's more crisp, it's more smooth, you know, l low carbs, you know, all that kind of shenanigans, then you're going to drink this and you're going to think, this is too full on, you know, it's too bitter, it's too, but if you like a bold man's beer, this is a man's beer, alright, the flavours are just all there, you know, you're going to get all that bitterness, but at the end of the day, you're either going to like it, or you're not going to like it, that's, that's how Victorian bitter is, but on a, on a hot summer's day, you can call, you can chill yourself down with a Victorian bitter. I can't remember how the ad went, but the ads were iconic, guys. The Victorian bitter ads. I can't remember how it goes, but, you know, the song... Du, 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 du. I should really play it, but I don't know how to do that. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let me know if you have tried a Victorian bitter. What do you think of it? I mean, here in Australia, like I said, not a lot of people reach for this... You're either from that generation that drinks Victorian bitter, so you would go pick up, you know, you go pick up a box of that. But otherwise, nowadays there's so much different selections, so much probably better tasting beers. This is all opinions, guys. Some people love this, some people hate it. Some people say it's just like cat piss. Some people say it tastes like chemicals or metallic. But to me, let's go for another one. Cheers, everyone. Like, I guess you'd look at it as, it's bittery hoppiness. I mean, it's not like the hops that you'd, you know, like craft beer hops is all that tropical note. Nah, it's none of that. You'd be thinking more along the lines of, it could be malty. Is it hoppy? Is it malty? You don't even know what it is. All it is is just bitterness. It is crisp. It is like a lager. I mean, like, like there's, there's nothing really that stands out. I mean... These are the type of beers that become common to the, the mass consumers, you know. People aren't going for fantastic flavours and tastes, you know. You're, you're essentially picking up these to drink down and not really think about the taste too much, you know. $2.50, $2.75 a can. I mean, this is the culture of Australian beer drinking, you know. Like, if you're not into craft beer, you're drinking something that essentially is like bittery water, which is a little bit crisp. It may be refreshing, obviously, in a hot summer's day, but if you are a, a beer connoisseur, then you'd be looking at this like, this is rubbish, you know? You, you, you can't even, you can't go from craft beer to drink this, you know? But if you're an everyday citizen, you're a, you're a tradie, you're out there in the sun, you, you just finished work and you wanted something which is just fresh and re refreshing, crisp, then, yeah, I mean, 4.9% 4 .9 is actually one of the stronger ones in this category of beer, right? So, a lot of things is only 4%, 4.5, so keep that in mind. This is one of the more full-strength beers out there in the Australian market. I mean, a lot of people in America think, do you guys have Fosters? And I think to myself, I don't think I've seen Fosters unless it's in advertisement from a long, long time ago, a different generation. But it does seem like there's a slight relation here, you know. It almost looks like the same advertisement. Maybe it's from the same company, who knows. All right, his head's almost going down. We're going on to 10 minutes. Let's just say this is Australia's, one of Australia's best-selling beers. But if you ask an Australian if you enjoy VB, some will tell you it tastes like shit, whereas the fans that grew up drinking it are going to tell you it's great, so take it as a grain of salt, guys, you know, everything is, everything is subjective, but anyways, for what I think, I think, obviously, you're not going to appreciate too much of 
you're not thinking about complexities. You're not thinking about other tones or flavors. All it is is just crisp. It's bittery, bittery, slight maltiness. I mean, you could say there's a chemical kind of metallic tang to it, but maybe that's why people like it because it's not so watery. You know, you're drinking something. It's it's it's, it's just like watery, watery beers nowadays with no flavors. That's what people like to drink. Watery beers. Anyways. Anyways. Cheers everyone. Repeating myself. Cheers all. Definitely. You have to drink this cold guys. Don't ever try to drink a VB that is warm. I'm telling you now, don't do it. You will regret that decision. But anyway, guys, cheers, everyone. Let me know in the comments if you have tried Victorian bitter or if you even like Victorian bitter. What's the Australian beer that you would rather go for? Not a lot of people drink this anymore, but I thought I'll just grab it just because it's a it's, it's an Australian iconic beer, guys. I mean, it's been around since 18, <clears throat> 1854, so. That's going back to gold rush times, guys. So back when there was a gold rush, this fella was inventing this beer. Anyways, there you go. Bit of history. <laughs> All right, guys. Cracker VB, if you like something bitter. Anyways, cheers, everyone. I'll catch you all next time. Drink responsibly now. Yep, bitterness. Is it yeasty? I don't even know how to describe it. Bitterness. Paper. Jesus. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out of here. Catch you all next time. See you all.